Hello and welcome back to the Wade and Navy Chronicles. I have an interesting video for you today. I recently went up to the trap line taking my son and my oldest grandson with me and we had a contract to burn brush piles for the logging company that did a significant amount of logging on our trap line. So as a result we were offered the contract to burn the brush piles and took it. This uh, trip takes us about six hours north of Edmonton, so it's quite a ways on, uh, on rough roads. But uh, we made it up there. We had to take the last two kilometers in on roads that were not serviced. And in fact, uh, part of that where road plow had never been before. So when we got up there, we knew we were gonna be facing some significant uh, snow, uh, three to four feet deep actually. So. Uh, luckily we hooked up with a snowplow or the grader once we were there and uh, we didn't have to take the skidoos all the way from the main road to the cabin which is a ways to go but we got to the cabin the cabin is nice and comfy you know when you're gonna make a long trip like that you uh, you want to be able to stay for a while and stay in comfort so it was a very interesting trip the boys learned a lot and we made some money while we were doing it, so, you know, what's wrong with that? In terms of getting around in that deep snow, because these brush piles are all over the place, uh, we'll be showing you some night shots of that as well. Uh, we had uh, a 2004 Summit Skidoo with us. Uh, this uh, Skidoo was modified to take a 174-inch uh, track on it, with three inch paddles. This thing was a beast for getting that to get through that snow. So uh, I think you might like that as well. It's, uh, it's not necessarily a workhorse for pulling stuff, but if you want to just stop and start on, on three or four feet of soft powdery snow, it's the only way to go, man. So uh, I think you'll like this video. And uh, if you do, then please uh, remember to click the like button so that YouTube knows and subscribe to the channel. It all helps us out a lot. Let's take a look. Good and cold, and it's a good thing we had a uh, trapping cabin thing in. We just fired up the wood stove in there and got things going real nice and warm, slept very comfortably through the night. But in the morning, it uh, was quite a task to get the skidoos started from such a cold state, uh, especially after having been hauled on the highway for six hours in the freezing cold. So uh, but we got her done, a lot of determination. Grandson, he's a bit of a mechanical genius, so he was invaluable to have on this trip.
this up pretty soon. First place is just packed solid. <laughs> we got so much stuff. <laughs> but all the stuff here we need at one point or another. The generator gave up on us. I'm gonna try to return it. Nothing seems to work to get it going. This is the cut line that about 600 meters, maybe a little more. Up, you can get right beside the lake. that thing. Yeah. <laughs> it's really good with it. Gotta love the look of a big brush pile burning. There's some people who like to have their campfires made well. You would be in your glory out here with a brush pile like this going. The heat is just shedding off that like crazy even in minus 30 degrees. So uh, it was really an interesting experience. There's a cabin, nice and warm and toasty. There's the bus fire. <laughs> that is quite a fire. Yeah, I guess the air is cheaper than. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can I try and see on this side? We can get a little bit more. 
Yeah, maybe, maybe not. Well, it's just the propane, I guess. Maybe, yeah, yeah, it's just started. See that end over there? You throw a few there to start that end. Yeah. You gotta get some of the small ones up there. <laughs> Nice and warm there, eh? Some people like to build big campfires, and then there's us. <laughs> yeah, you, you okay? <laughs> Throttle's not like that little thing. Yeah, yeah, she really goes. off now. Yeah, there you go. There you go. <laughs> okay. Got a Woo! shovel too, eh? Yeah, it's good to have a shovel. Okay. <laughs> Snow water. The boys are out getting some firewood. Got quite a few brush piles started today and burned down. And it's getting near the end of the day. Joshua just up this road for 500 yards or so. You saw a wolverine running down alongside the road. Interesting. Not very often you see a wolverine in the wild.
trying to find a good hole to, to lay it in there. Eh? Oh, it's a, just the other as far as the air to go. Oh, yeah, in, yeah. Uh, Let the air flow through, yeah, eh? Yeah, lots of little pokes from this cup. Quite a bit. Uh-huh. That's why sometimes the smoke comes out of your hole that you're putting the fire in, if it's uh -huh. too small of a hole. Yeah. So if you poke some neighboring holes, then it's... A little bit. Oh, it's kind of nice that uh, headlight got rolled there, I guess. It's kind of pointing yeah, it's down, down. No, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, you don't want that wire to sort <laughs> out, eh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got the new set of headlamps to the sled. No, uh, yeah. we circled, our, uh, circled around the <laughs> piles there and the branch yeah. sticking out. Oh, caught it, eh? What? I hit a log underneath, I would have cleared it, but yeah. It was, uh, <laughs> yeah, it's quite an impressive sight at night. <laughs> it's deep in places, eh? <laughs> the way it works with brush balls is you get paid by the cubic meter. It's uh, kind of a hard thing to guess how much you're making, but on this job, uh, on this cut line, or trap line, I should say, uh, you can make over $6,000 uh, burning these brush balls, so it's actually well worth going out there and you have to spend bucks on gas and stuff and propane but but it's worthwhile Record that on video, so it couldn't help you. No, you're I had an excuse. <laughs> Well, that's about it for this trip. So we're going to head back now, and uh, it's a good six hour drive back. Uh, the roads are nice and firm, though, being wintertime. In summertime, this can be a little bit tricky. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have, then I encourage you to subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. And please click uh, like on the video to uh, 
let YouTube know that this is what people want to see. And until next time, I'd like to wish you God bless.